What's going on YouTube? My name is IKHD. Welcome to another Flashback Friday episode number two video. And today we're going to be covering over Dev Jam 5 from New York, which released for the Xbox, PlayStation 2, and the GameCube. And also they had a spin-off version, but it was a prequel of both Dev Jam Vandana and 5 from New York, which was titled Dev Jam fight for new york the takeover and if you guys don't already know i uploaded a video probably like two days ago maybe five days ago i don't know but i was covering over what i'm doing with the project of dev jam fight for la modding the game doing different textures and stuff but anyway i want to ask you guys do you have any moments with this game what was your fastest knockout what was the best fighter you created what was the best fighter technique and who was your favorite character to use other than your created player. With Def Jam 5 Free Nerd, it was a big upgrade from Def Jam Vendetta and introduced new match types which was the window match, subway match, demolition match, inferno match, cage match, and ring out. They also got an upgraded roster which features 74 selectable characters but 8 of those 74 playable characters were custom outfit. Def Jam 5 Free New York literally raised the bar from fighting games slash wrestling game the story mode was incredible from the voice acting all the way to the plot everything in between man i always had fun on this game i also played the story mode several times and also beat it several times from easy to medium i haven't beat it on hard yet i'm gonna have to do that but i wish with the def jam games they had a reversal button because i believe that the only time you could reverse stuff is if you keep spamming x and um x and square and stuff like that when somebody's either trying to grapple you or they're trying to hit you but if they're trying to hit you you could just easily block it i think they should have had a reversal button like they have with wde game listen ea you guys need to remaster this game and people are wanting it people are wanting a lot of remaster from you guys so remaster this this will be the first remaster game that you guys need to work on and release another thing though that i liked about def jam fight for nerf was that we was able to create our players for the story mode other than having the three selectable characters that was already made in the previous def jam vendetta we was able to create the look, do their voice. We was even able to get our own blazing moves and also select our own fighting type. We was able to select up to three and my main three were literally kickboxing, street fighting, either wrestling or submission. That was literally the lineup right there. That was literally the best lineup. We was able to get our hair cut. We was able to buy clothes, jewelry, tattoos, anything that you wanted. You could literally do it on here. They even had the sidekick as the phone. But I really enjoyed this game, man. This is Flashback Friday episode 2. Sorry if this is short. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button if you want more Flashback Fridays. Comment down below what the next video you guys want me to do. I got a suggestion talking about NBA 2K14 for the PlayStation 4. I will do that because I enjoy that game. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe on Join the HD Army. Anyway, this is I Can HD. Catch you guys in the next video. Also, Derek Allen will be coming. Episode 4 will be coming at the end of February, probably, if not, it's probably going to be a teaser. I'm not promising anything, but I know I'm going to promise you this. Derek Island Episode 4 will release sometime in March during March Madness. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. This is iKenHD. Catch you guys in the next video.